guys, it's Lily. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, and today I have a thread up five-pound jewelry from Swanee, Georgia. This is probably going to be in two parts, maybe three, um, depending on what's in here. Um, so I will be putting prices on the screen, subscriber prices. Um, all I ask is if um, you order something and you want me to hold it until I get through the whole box or the next couple boxes, I'm more than happy to do that. But you need to pay the invoice that day and we just, um, and, and one shipping charge. And if it ends up being over that, we can adjust it later. Um, but I can't be holding without payment for more than like 24 hours because I have other people in line usually wanting the same item. And so this, it's just not good for me to do that. And then you change your mind and then I don't sell the item at all. I end up having to list it anyway. So I would appreciate if you guys would do that. Um, under a pound in the U.S. it will be um, $5 shipping. Anything over that will be calculated based on where you live and how much it weighs. So I'm going to open this and just give you a quick peek and then I am going to switch the camera down so that you have a better view of the jewelry. Make sure that's, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yep, five pound jewelry. All right, so. Goodness. As usual, it is in a big, big, well, looks like there might be a few interesting pieces in here. I see some broken stuff already, but here is the first piece. So I'm going to adjust the camera, get all the wrapping off so not to make us too much noise, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and one of my subscribers said I should wear this. Um, afraid to wear it out, so I'm gonna wear it in this video. This is that nice cuff, um, and so let's get started. I see a lot of what looks to be junk, um, but you never know what you're gonna find in these boxes. So, all right, so the first item here is a watch it is not branded um, it also is not been used it's a wrap watch so it goes around twice made in china uh, stainless steel back uwa but it says japan movement So, um, yeah, so that's the first item. It is new. I'll have to see if that UWA means anything. And all it is stamped with is China. It does not say leather. Um, so I don't think it is. I think it's pleather. But there it is. All right. We have another watch. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, it still has the plastic on the face, so that's good. Make sure all the rhinestones are here. Stainless steel case back, N, Y, and C. Retail price was $25. Does have the plastic coating still on the face, so there's no scratches. It's cute. It's kind of like a peach colored band. Um, so I will put the prices on the screen before I upload this. All right, we have some fashion jewelry. Oh, here we go. These are little keychains. Class of 2020. 
Yeah, we have one each. Class of 2020. So if you know of anybody that graduated in 2020, here are two keychains. One is blue and one is teal rhinestone silver tone. And it's just a keychain. Heavy. Silver tone. It says, I love Mickey. It is a Disney bracelet. It's very heavy duty. Um, and it's awfully big, too. So, well, here I did. Went with my tape measure again. Have to do it backwards. It's eight inches uh, interior diameter. It's got some just mild, um, mild scuffing from use, but that is cute. It's like uh, brushed in between the letters and it does say Disney on the inside. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's cute, I like that. Something a little more unique. All right. Oh, well, this is torrid. Look at there. Three quarter inch. I'm not sure if it's leather or not. It does have a few little dings. It does not say leather, so I don't know. But it's got the cute raised red stars. And it is just a bracelet. Let's see what the length is on it. Could be an eight or an eight and three quarters um, with the two different snaps. So there's the Torrid bracelet. Let's see, we've got a statement necklace. Check all the rhinestones. All right, I don't see any missing. But I also don't see any branding, so let's see. We are 17 inches. with the one and a half inch extender. Okay, so that is, that's pretty. It's kind of a, again, peachy color with rhinestones. And it's in good condition. Okay. This is just a gold tone enamel bracelet. No markings, but it's in good condition. Orange and white stripe. I feel like this jewelry was done in a color. Oh, this is pretty. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. This is glass and stone, gold tone. Oh, Cookie Lee. It's another Cookie Lee. Um, it's in good condition so far. Let's see. Cookie Lee. We've got greens and browns. 
pinks, um, some really nice glass beads. Oh, forgive me if I'm not in the middle of the frame, but I'm still getting used to this down thing. This looks like mother of pearl. And some fuzz that's free <laughs> um, but it's very pretty all right so it it does have a clasp <coughs> let's see how long this thing is it is long 20. It is 41 inches long. So I'm guessing you could probably even use this as a belt if you wanted to because it has a clasp. Or you can just... Oh, I am all fumble fingers today. So if you do it in two, it will be 20 inches. And if you had a small neck, it would be almost a choker, but that is pretty. That is really beautiful. I like that one a lot. And it is Cookie Lee. And uh, I think, well, that's an earring. So let's put the earrings aside till later. I rarely ever get matches, although last time I got several matches. All right, we have another statement necklace. I love these colors. Variations of blue. Nothing missing. Nice gold tone chain. I don't see anywhere. And I also don't see any brand. So let's just see. I have a very untraditional way of measuring these ones that are kind of funky. But so it's 16 inches before the drop, okay? with a three inch extender. That, that is gorgeous. I really like that. Again, no brand, but look at those stones. I love these, they're very iridescent. And you've got a light blue, medium blue, dark blue, gold tone. Just a tiny bit of wear on the last few links here at the back of the neck. But that's it, that's beautiful. I like that too. Okay, these look like painted, almost, well, they're definitely wood and the in-between are plastic, um, but you know, it's cute, definitely for a small wrist. I have a size six and I wouldn't go more than a six, six and a half on this one, but it's, it's cute. Um, Probably more of a child's bracelet. Something like this would be just a dollar. Ooh. Ooh, might this be? Please don't be missing any stones. All right. Love this color blue, my absolute favorite. It's a little chip in this stone right here. I don't know if you can see it. Those are stunning. Unfortunately, I don't see a brand. And it is on a ribbon. So the length is 
anywhere you want it to be. But that is pretty. So the stones span about six and three quarter inches. And they are cut so they sparkle. The sparkle is really nice. You really don't see that imperfection. Um, but that is beautiful. I like that too. Um, look, we have another torrid bracelet in red with black stars to match the other one. And this one is about eight and a quarter to nine. So it's a little bit bigger than the other one. But it's cute. Those are the two together. And you have black with red stars and red with black stars. Oh, wait, we got another one. Yep, now we have a white one. Torrid, same thing, white with black stars. And this one is eight to nine and three quarters, like the black one. <coughs> I should have brought some water in here. Okay. These feel like glass and they are cold. Let's see that. Um, oval stones. They are double cut, so they have a nice shine. Let's see. I don't see a marking on it. Let me just double check. Sometimes when they're silver, they're so tiny you can't see them. But no, this is just fashion jewelry. But it's in good condition. Let me measure this. All right, so we have 17 inches and a three inch extender on this one. This is pretty and they are glass, silver tone. this big monstrosity out of the way. These are definitely oops, acrylic. And they are tied in the middle with ribbon. I'm kind of thinking this might be homemade. It is pretty though, and it's heavy. So just the so just the beads are 18 inches. So you could wear it as a choker, or you have all of this extra to wear it long, whatever you want. It is in good condition. But they are acrylic. And it's like orange, peachy, a um, little bit of pink, almost looks like um, crystals, rose quartz, but it's not. They're acrylic, but that's pretty. Okay, next we have another statement necklace. Everything is functioning. Goodness. What's my time? 19. All right. I'm going to try to keep my videos under 30 minutes. Because I know it's kind of boring to watch for that long. I know you like me, but you don't like me that much. All right. These are also um, cut 
red gold tone um, in very good condition again, which is kind of shocking. Again, not branded. How pretty is that? Okay, it's got a double um, lobster claw clasp. That is four and a half inches long. So you have that. Plus you have another two and a half inch extender on one end. And it is 17 inches. So you've got 17 inches plus six and a half more that you could utilize if you wanted to. But that is also very pretty and in good condition. I don't see a whole lot of, might be a few little scratches on the red stones, but they're not very noticeable. That's also very pretty. Okay, let's check this out. Ooh, these are really cold. And this is very pretty, different. Let's see if it's branded anywhere. I don't see it branded, but I will check into it because these are definitely stone of some sort. I don't know about that. Got caught in my hair. Um, but very pretty. I'll give you a closer look here in a second. Okay, so this can. be 32 inches and the extender is four inches it's got a beautiful clasp hook clasp on it hammered um, I will definitely be looking this this one up before I put a price on the screen I don't see a mark but you know I can't see very well but it is, it's very pretty. And these are stone and glass. The blue are glass. The white is stone. I believe the pinks are stone and the golds are, none of it is plastic or wood. Although it has the look of wood, some of it, it's not. That is very pretty. Not too bad for a five pound. All right. Not finding anything too unusual yet. But there's still a lot to go. Oh, goodness. Ooh, I hate tangles. I am just beside myself over shipping. A lot of you that ordered from me, I ship the same day or next day, always. And I have packages that I sent out end of December that has still not arrived to their destination. I promise you that got sent out right away. I have am tracking them. I've been in touch with a couple of you. Um, so if you haven't got your package yet, it was shipped and there is tracking information available. If you need me to check on it further, let me know. All right, just looking for a brand. Here is another statement necklace. Let's see. 
<coughs> I think I will have water in here for my next video. All right, I don't see any stones missing. So it's gold tone. And yes, of course it is not branded. Check the length. All right, we have 17 inches with a three inch extender. This looks like it's uh, enamel, the turquoise is enamel, gold tone with rhinestones. Another very pretty piece, especially if you like statement necklaces. You like things to pop colors. This would be a beautiful piece just with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt. Do, see if we can find something interesting. Let's see what this is. Let's see if I can get this one loose. All right. Well, this is odd. This is a gold tone, black stone, but it is on a silver tone chain. The chain is express. Um, I don't know if this is express or not, but it definitely does not go with this chain. So I may either split it up unless someone wants the mix of the gold tone with the silver chain. But they're both in good condition. Let's see this thing. Let's see who the... Brand is on her. Oh, Sugar Fix. This is a choker. For those of you that like chokers, goodness. Oh, my fingers are not working well today. Looks like there may be a loose string here. Yep, yeah. so this is going to just go into craft. Bummer. Haven't seen a whole lot of earrings yet, so that's good. This almost looks um, like real pearls. Let's just check this out. Hmm. Tangled mess we weave. You guys know I don't like tangles. Okay. So that is pretty. Let me check these. Okay, those are real. They look like freshwater pearls. Let's see if there's a brand. And of course not. And a gold tone chain. There is some discoloration here. Um, at the back on the extender and some bonus there you go unless this is marked um, it's not branded but these are real pearls so that's there's something on the bottom here let's see what it says in here. Oops. No, I don't see anything. All right, so let's see how long this is. Goodness, cooperate with me, please. All right, so the chain itself is 16 inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. The drop is six inches. Well, okay, well, let me rephrase that. 32 inches. The drop is six inches. And 
you also have a one inch extender. But you know, that's pretty. Cool tone. Those are real pearls, probably fresh water. Um, it's a pretty necklace. All right, I'm gonna stop after this one and then restart. Okay, I, hmm. Two, does anybody recognize that? That is the only marking. This has got an antique gold finish and rhinestones. Okay, let me see if any of the rhinestones are marked. No, because they go both ways. So, so even if the necklace turns, you've got rhinestones on the front and rhinestones on the back. Don't think these are real pearls. No, they're definitely faux. But this is pretty. It's definitely pretty. Very Victorian-ish. All right, so let's see. This is 31 inches and not really an extender. My thing is, is what does the two mean? Does anybody knows? Leave it in the comments because I don't know. But it's a beautiful necklace and it can be doubled if you want a choker. All right, so we are at 31 minutes. So I am going to stop here and then restart to do part two. All right, thank you everybody for watching. And like I said, I will put prices on the screen. If you're interested, please email me and I will see you. In the next one, Lily out.